No, sir. Yes. In today's interview, we're going to be seeing a man whose inability to take responsibility for his own actions, coupled with his lack of regard for human life, led to the death of two women and his unborn child. In December of 2016, Markeith Lloyd went to the home of his ex-girlfriend, Sade Dixon. The reason for their fight varies by account ranging from Lloyd accusing her of infidelity to his anger that Dixon refused to quit smoking while pregnant. During a struggle, Lloyd shot Dixon, resulting in her death and the death of their unborn child. Her brother, who was attempting to help her, was shot non-fatally. Lloyd fired at other members before fleeing. Although a manhunt followed as well as a reward for his arrest, Lloyd managed to evade police for a month with evidence pointing to help from his family. In January 2017, Lloyd stopped at a Walmart for supplies and was recognized. The witness approached Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton, who was off-duty at the time, and informed them of Lloyd's location. She tried to detain him, but he fled. It is unclear which of them fired the first shot, but Lloyd shot her several times, and instead of fleeing once she was down, he went over and shot her fatally in the neck. He was then able to evade the police for another week until he was traced to a home connected with people close to him. There, he resisted arrest while wearing body armor and wielding two handguns. Force had to be used to restrain him, and he was brought in immediately for questioning. Are you guys recording? Good. Who in charge? Yeah. Who in charge? Yeah. Yeah. Who in charge? Yeah. Yeah. Lloyd is brought into the room with his hands cuffed behind him, and as he sits down, you can see the swelling on his face from his confrontation with the police during his arrest. You got hand sanitizer? Hey, can y'all trade these cups out for me? Just one second, okay, guys? They come in on to do that for oh, me. No. They're real tight, brother. No, they're tight. They're real, real, real tight. Both of them. They numb Marie's out the cups. Hey, can you move the cups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. They numb Marie's. They're real tight. Good question. Don't worry about that. I'll get the rest of the key right now. No, I left mine in the car. There's some keys in the car. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh. I got to talk to my agent too. Who? My agent. I don't know who who is that. I don't know him. My federal agent. I'm on federal oh yeah, yeah. You, we yeah, we don't know what he's doing. Yeah, you know federal. He wants to talk to the federal agent. Right. Right. You know his name? Uh, you know his name, my man? Yeah, yeah. No, I can't remember right now. Huh? No sir. Okay. I can't remember right now. We'll, we'll get a hold of him for you. Hello? Let's put in there. We'll just close this rocket. Yes. But could you straighten these cups when you do that? Give us one second, all right, guy? Huh? You correct. Somebody's coming to see you. Do they yeah, know? I just. Yeah. We should have both of you respond. Okay. Got your most. I mean, you know how it is. We'll wait for Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're we'll You're right. We'll wait for Yes, sir. Did you call Pat? Let me know. 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 Is that something right there? No, yeah, that's not. Yeah, they don't fill that up. Where's your item? Where's your item? Well, could y'all bring me cups out from the key? We're getting the key. We're getting the key. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody find it through when you get a chance? We just put them on the elevator. These channels, you ever found them? 
I mean, they've got an hour and a half or more. Uh, we, 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 do you see we do you see miles. Uh, uh, hey, 933 is in Tennessee. Yeah, uh, he's here. Uh, we have him room. He needs to be here. He's both got by him. Nah, it's Brian. I'm not 1012 with Pete. You can call me, Ken. Yeah. Uh, I'll handle another channel. What up for you guys? Do we have two more? I'm already You're not on for a long time. I was going to do a whole thing. You guys are not on, right? Then you guys are on, correct? You can turn on because we're already on. Hey, Corporal, we're trying to get a hold of you guys. There you go. Although he has complained that the cuffs are tight and that they have assured him they are going to remove them, none of the officers are moving quickly to find a key. He has killed one of their own, and it is doubtful that they have much sympathy for his discomfort.
They have called someone to come look at his injuries, which makes sense to do before questioning in case it is decided he needs serious medical attention. Otherwise, they run the risk of having any evidence he might give being dismissed if his cognitive abilities come into question. Just take it down. Yeah, so take, take it down. Take it from the no, seat. Yeah. Which way to open yourself? Take it from the seat. Take it from the seat. It's, it's my play. Right. All right. It's for free. All right. All right. Oh. Yeah, good way. Hey, have we uh, gotten in the fire department to look at him? 
Yes, sir. They're yes, coming in right now. On their way right now. Yes, sir. Perfect. Because how? Because how? Because how? We don't want to transport it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, yeah. They stay. Sure we sir, yes, sir. They're gonna relieve us. We're going to the Walmart in front of the area. All right. Oh, we get to have. So, you guys had something. We got a lot of Lloyd is still waiting for medical treatment. He rocks back and forth in his seat, clearly uncomfortable. Aside from the occasional question about getting the cuffs off, he remains nonverbal, not bothering to engage the officers, although many in his position wouldn't be able to resist trying to provoke some type of reaction. Pain or boredom has broken Lloyd's silence, but he's still focused on the removal of his cuffs and getting his attorney. Both things are in the process of being done, but they don't seem to feel the need to make things move quickly for him. My hands swelling up. Shit, come on, man. Sit down. 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 Sit
Is the right car fucked up? The left car right? The They're right fine. fucked up, bro. Do you have gloves? Do you guys have a... It cut off the circulation. Uh, uh, bring us a cup, bring a box. Yeah, you don't have any. But cut off my circulation. I feel my hands swelling up, my whole hands swelling up, bro. Unwisely, Lloyd stands and continues to do so even though he's told multiple times to sit back down. It takes two officers going in and physically placing him in his seat to get him back down, but otherwise, he doesn't put up much resistance. There is still no progress, and the only change is the fact that the officers standing just outside the room have snapped on rubber gloves. For most people, this would definitely be a source of concern, but Lloyd makes no comment. Uh, who the officer in charge? Anybody? Who the officer in charge? I had to about this cuff, bro. I can't take him. I won't shit, kill me. My hand, I swore all the way up. Stopping the blood circulation. Where the fear is that I'm talking about Asian man. Is with Orlando Police. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that here in a second. Okay. Uh, can, you talk, can you sit up and tell me your name? No, I was just kidding. I'm telling you because I'm a blood Okay. We can work on that. Okay. Let me see the hand touch. Okay. 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 I can see the, I can see space in the handcuff, I can see space between the chin there. I'm going to open up, listen, I'm going to open up just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. Just a little bit, you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, that's enough on that one. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You gotta get to it, man. Oh. You gotta get to it. Oh shit. You're a pretty bulky guy, oh. so. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. It ain't nothing, bro. No more than Oh. What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh. Oh. 
Right there, man. That's what you get right there, okay? If you move it, it's gonna turn up. Oh, it's you didn't even feel it. didn't even move that motherfucker. Shit killed me, bro. All right, this is what I gotta do real quick, man. Face me. Oh. Face me. Face me, Marquis. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe a little bit of your face, all right? I don't think that's gonna do much, but. I'm only gonna do look look up a little bit. That hurt? Mm -hmm. Alright, you good? Okay, I'm good too. I did a little bit, man. We'll get the rest in a little bit, okay? Detective case 12277, reference case number 2017-11345. Date today is January 17th, 2017. Time is 1954 hours. We're in CID interview room number five. Mark Keith, give me your name and date of birth again. No, I didn't know today, 75. We'll okay, Mark Keith, listen up real quick. Right now you're under arrest, okay? The questioning has begun even though Lloyd has yet to be checked over with any degree of thoroughness. They've worked on the cuff, even though there was space between his wrist and the metal, but he still isn't satisfied, and that will probably influence how he responds. You have the right to remain silent, you understand that? Mm -hmm. Anything you say may be used against you in court, you understand that? Mm -hmm. Can you speak up a little bit? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning, you understand that? Yes, sir. If you can't afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you before questioning without charge. You understand that? Yes, sir. Anyone threaten you or promise you anything right now to get you to talk to us? No, sir. Okay. Uh, also in the room... Is the, this is Detective Danny Garcia Payne with the Orange County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit. Okay. Mark Keith, you know, you know why you're here tonight, right? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us why you think you're here tonight? You've obviously been hiding for, for quite a while. You've been running from place to place. Uh, you're in custody tonight for an obviously a pretty serious offense. Can you tell us why you're why you're in custody tonight? What am I in custody for? You're in custody for homicide, okay? Alright. Can you tell can you tell us where you were all day today? What homicide? We'll talk about that in a second. Can you tell us where, you, where you've been today? Were you at the house all day today? No, I don't know. You don't know? I'm fucked up right now. Mark Keith. Okay, Mark Keith, just talk to us. Sit up, sit up a little bit. You're not that fucked up. You I can talk. I'm fucked up. Okay? Sit up and talk to us a little bit. This is in reference to a homicide for uh, that occurred about a week ago. And you know the one we're talking about. You've been running for a reason. You've been all over the news. You're, you're well aware of what, why we've been looking for you. I'm running because the news make, cause y'all making up stories. And tell us what story we're making up and tell us oh, why I, it shouldn't I, be I, believed. I, I just came to the house, started shooting shot. It was, that's, a, that's a complete lie. You just what? Which that's a complete lie. What is? That I just came to the house and shot shot. It. That's a complete lie. Okay. okay. Those are the things that we want. Listen to me, man. It's been a long, long freaking month. We've been running around doing a lot of different things. Understand that I'm here just as tired as you are, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been racking my brains, man. You've been doing pretty good for a month. You got me for a month. Well, right here sitting now, dude, we're going to go ahead and clarify some things. If I'm wrong about something, I'll be the first one to admit that I'm wrong. But it's up to you to clarify what's been going on. Sit up, man. I'm trying to give you some respect, man. See, in the street, it goes like this. In the street, Marquis wants respect. And he wants everybody to give it to him. And guess what? I'm going to give it to you whether you deserve it or not. But right now, you know what I need? I need you to give me a little bit because I deserve it. Okay? I'm here giving you all the respect in the world. How is respect? Okay? Well, I'm gonna, all I want to do is talk to you and figure some, something. It's holy brutality. I ain't dead, see? But you, you know what happened to Sade? That was bad, too. 
So if you can explain to me what happened, maybe I can understand it. Because I'm looking at you like you did something wrong, and if you didn't do something wrong, then you got to explain it to me. Yeah, y'all know what happened, Shadi. They put a gun on me. Y'all know what happened. Y'all got the goddamn... But who's going to tell me that if, it's, if it ain't you? You're the only one that was there. You, Shadé, Ronald, all the people. But I wasn't there. And right now, how we're going to clarify these things is you telling me what happened. Because I don't want to guess anymore. I want to be right. And I want to I want to write the story that you tell me is your story. You control that, because you're the one that, that was there. But a lot of things have happened since December 13, man, and only you can clarify that. See, I'm not sitting here. He's not sitting here. We're not playing with you. All we want to know is the truth. We're here already, man. This this part of the the the, the story is already written. We're gonna move forward from here. You write the rest. But what I don't want is for me to give you respect and for you treat me like I'm a pop, you can't even sit up and look at me. Bro, y'all just beat my ass. I don't want to hear that shit. Marquis, think nobody in this room beat your ass. Oh, well, this is your y'all. opportunity. This is the opportunity you have right now. Just beat my ass. I ain't coming here like this. I want this like is this your opportunity right now to tell us the story what happened and tell us what happened. Shit, bro. Okay, so right now I want to give you what you deserve. So why don't you talk to me and tell me what's up, man? You've been running for a little while. We've been talking to a lot of people, and you know it, man. Your face has been all over the TV. We're running, stay out the goddamn way, not fuck with nobody. So what happened with Sade? The detectives handling the question were not present during the arrest, but that doesn't matter as far as Lloyd is concerned. He deeply resents them, and it is unlikely that he is going to be cooperative unless something changes. I know she got in your face. I know she said some things to you that you didn't like. I, I broke up with Sade. Because why? Because she was lying about smoking. Because she was pregnant with your baby and you told her to stop smoking because I was bad for the baby. She was lying about smoking. Yeah, so I know that. But tell me what else happened. What, what, what got to the point that you had to do what you had to do? If you had to defend yourself, then you need to tell me, man. Y'all know Shadi when he got a gun. Y'all got a gun. What happened downstairs? She, she went and got a gun, her brother ended up coming out and he jumped on me. That's how, he, how the shit happened. Which one, the older brother or the younger brother? Because she's got two brothers. The older brother and the younger brother got dropped out while man was outside talking so all that about me just coming there and shooting up the place, that's a fucking lie. That's not, that's not, what, that's not what's being written. This, that, that's, that was being no, 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 I'm tell, no, 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 I'm telling you, I, I wrote it. I've seen it on news myself. Mark Keith, it, forget the news. The news put in there whatever they want to put in there. I'm telling you, I'm the one who wrote it. That's what they did, that's what they said. No, that's what the news are saying. They're gonna, they're gonna fill in the blanks. They came to the door and started shooting shot, they asked the fucking lie. That's not what was written. Okay, I'm telling you, I wrote it. And that's not what was written. There was the news said. I don't care about the news. I don't work for the news. Shit. What I said was this. The I news. said that you went there. The news will prosecute me. No, for, the forget the, 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 well, then, then tell the truth about what happened, and we can clear some of that stuff. If it didn't happen how they're saying it, then let's clear it. But you know what? The only person that can do that is you. Me and this detective right here, we cannot write the story for you. You can do that yourself. So this is the time to do it. Because I know where you've been all day. I know the answer to that. I can sit here and ask you a thousand questions and know the answer to them. But I don't know exactly how you felt that day that you had to pull the trigger at Sade's house. If you were defending yourself, then you need to tell me. Because you are the only one that can tell me that. But listen, and this is no disrespect. Hear my words and hear them clearly. Okay? You did what you did. If you have to defend yourself, that's what it was. But you man up now and clarify for me. My challenge to you is be a man. You were a man that day to do what you have to do. I'm challenging you right now. Be a man, okay? Be a man and tell me what happened. Because that's the only way we can clear this shit. Forget the news. The news is not here. It's you, I, and him. That's who's here. So you're gonna do that? You're gonna man up or what? Man, yeah, I'm saying no. I, I ain't listen, <laughs> listen, bro. If okay, who pulled the gun on you, Shade or her brother? The motivation for Lloyd's anger is supposedly over his girlfriend's refusal to stop smoking while she is pregnant, but it seems flimsy. Why does her brother get involved? Where does Lloyd get the gun? At some point, there may have been such an argument but the detectives suspect that there has to be more to the story. So they put it on them. When? 
When the brother came out, when? when? Uh, before the brother even came out. You guys were talking outside? Yeah, we were talking outside. My younger brother got dropped off all that. And he went inside? Come up shooting that, that's a fucking lie. That's not, that's not how I wrote it. Yeah, no, and, and, and I fucking broke up with her. If you take the check, if you check the fucking text message. I did. I wasn't tripping off her. She the fuck one, she the one was tripping. And I'm lying to her saying I want to fuck the family with her, which I did, but we can't, we can't have what you lying. So other than that, I wasn't tripping by shit. That wasn't me. Right, so she pulled the gun on you, you had to do, what did you do? I disowned her, I disowned her. You took it from her? Yeah. And what did you do with her gun? I put it in my back pocket when her brother jumped me, I guess it had to fall out. It fall out. And when did you take your gun out? Well, me and him were cussing. It, that, the older brother, Ronald, right? Yeah. You know him as Ronald? The older brother, yeah. Okay. Who did you shoot first, him or her? Man. Him? Because he was, he was on you? They know what's going on. I, I talk to my lawyer because y'all just beat me up, but you want me to talk to you. Though. I'm a kid. I, I wasn't there. I'm you. here. I asked for I asked for somebody to I find you. I ain't been. I ain't got no problem talking. I ain't trying to hide shit I motherfucking did. But and I'm not disrespecting you either. Am I treating you with it respect? Was, it was the events that that, that that went along before that. I ain't just do no shit like that. Exactly. Okay, so so fast forward, man. Fast forward. We go through all this stuff. You do what you do. Right. Whatever happened. I'm all here fucked up. What you mean fast forward? No, I'm, I'm fast forwarding to, to last week, 10 uh, days ago. Marquise, we got to know what happened, okay? We got a grieving family here for a police officer. They want to know what happened. They de deserve to know what happened. You know Sergeant Clayton was good people, okay? I don't, I don't know her. You know what she is. You guys went to the same school. You guys came from the, from the name, same know, neighborhood. Did, you know she was good people. Crazy. I don't fucking know Tell her. us what happened with her. Did she did she draw down on you I first? What happened? Y'all know she drew down on me first. No, we don't. You're with, you're the only one there. Tell us what happened. Man, y'all know she. She draw down. Did she fire the first shot at you? Yeah, I know she draw down on me first. Why is she shooting at you? In front of everybody in the fuck. That ain't that ain't that one professional. If I was a police officer, I'd have sat back. And, and got she started calling the back up out of the way down and, and followed the goddamn car. See what car he got in. That shit was dangerous for everybody. They ain't called that much. So she came at you? I mean, we don't know this. Yeah, this is why we need came, you to yeah, tell she us. She came at me. Yeah, for what? What'd she, what'd she do when she came at you? She pulled a gun on me. Y'all know she came at me. She okay, we didn't know that she pulled a gun first. This is what kind of stuff we need to know. She pulled a gun on you, then what? Man, I, I need to raise. I, I need to be better, man. I'm fucked you, up. This is, this is your opportunity. Marquis, this is your opportunity. Yeah, Everyone's been saying all these things about you. This is your opportunity to set the story straight. Talk. I just talk to y'all, but I ain't, I ain't tripping. Well, okay, well, if you ain't tripping, man, it's, it's like this, man. No, because y'all don't fucking fuck me up. Marquis, Marquis, we are not the ones that messed you up, okay? We're the ones giving you the opportunity to tell the truth about what happened between you and Sergeant Clay. Yeah, I don't really talk to you. Marquis, let me ask you this. Trying to goddamn talk about calling okay. everybody. Okay, hey, Marquis, Marquis. We shot it down and let her turn me in. So Marquis, 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 right Marquis right check me out. No, Marquis, check me out. You worry about how you feeling right now, okay? Well, tell me something, man. What goes through your mind when you think about your baby in that belly and not, not living anymore? That baby died because of the actions that happened that day. So you worry about you, that shit's gonna heal. That you, you, you might get a scar, you, you know what? In three days you'll be, you'll be eating fine. That baby is dead. Yeah. If Sade, look, if Sade deserved it, then you tell me she deserved it. I got a hole for being in my fucking mouth. But you cannot tell me that Sergeant Clinton deserved what happened to her. You're tired, I know that. You've been running for a long time. You're not eating right, you're not sleeping right. Then they, then they lock my family up. People, how the fuck am I to help me? I'm about trying to buy my own food out of Walmart. Get the fuck up out of here. Well, Marquis, that's what they let's say. Just, let's, 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 let's just, Marquis, Marquis, this isn't, this is about getting the truth out right now as to what happened between you and Sergeant Clayton, okay? We need to know if Sergeant Clayton pulled that gun on you first. We need to know if you felt threatened, if you did what you had to do. Yeah, yeah, Tell us what happened. Yeah, she pulled a gun on me. Did she threaten you? Yes, yeah, she pulled a gun on me. Y'all know she pulled a gun on me. I got the tape. And is that why you did what you had to do? Yeah. So yeah. tell us what happened. If you're threatened, tell us what happened. The detectives have tried to make several emotional-based connections ranging from the officer that Lloyd killed to his girlfriend and even the death of his unborn child. Lloyd remains unfazed by any of it, and his focus never wavers from himself. Man, I ain't got to talk, man. I, I talked to my lawyer and let him talk to y'all. I'm told y'all nothing, and y'all done beat the fucking shot, and I ain't have to do that.
Was she put, was she was she threatening you in the parking lot? Was she threatening you at the door? When did exactly were you being threatened? This is your opportunity, Marquis. That blood will heal. Those wounds are going to heal. Okay? That will heal. All of that is going to heal. What happened with Sergeant Clayton? That's a whole different story. Okay? Did she come at you and threaten you? Did you have to do what you had to do? Tell us why you did what you did. Was she threatening you when she was on the ground? Was she, so when she's on her back and you're shooting her, were you feeling threatened? She was shooting the whole time. She's shooting at you while she's on, the, on her back? She How can she time. shoot you from shoot at you from her back? If I'm on the ground, I'm shooting from the ground too. They're on the ground on me and shit. Okay, so she's on her back, she's shooting at you. Is that why you're, why you're shooting at her? Is that why? Marquis, these are simple questions. She's on her back shooting at you. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. And I ain't Tell us what's happening when she's shooting on when she's on her back shooting at you. Tell us what's happening from there. Is that why you shot at her while she's on her back? I ain't poked nobody. I ain't did shit nobody. She, she's shot. She's on her back while she's being shot, Marquis. There's only one reason why you're doing this, okay? Defending myself. You're defending yourself against her. Why didn't you just run? You had the opportunity to run. You had the opportunity to fight. No, I you had all kinds of opportunities. You chose to shoot. Why did you choose to shoot? I had no opportunity to run. You telling me you can't outrun her? You can't outrun a female with with 30, 40 pounds of gear on her? You're gonna try and tell us you couldn't outrun her? Markeith, why did you choose to shoot instead of run? Markeith, why did you choose to shoot instead of run? I ain't shooting none. Why she choose to approach me instead of follow the car? With all the computers and she put all the What difference would it have made whether she approaches well, you or 10 police officers shoot you? Because it, 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 would have, it would have made a difference because the car would have been surrounded in the situation where she could have came out. You saying you can't out. help yourself and that's why you had to shoot? Man, you saying that. Now we then, then tell, now, then, tell now us we, what happened. You're we, not telling us we, anything. Now we finna finish talking because you're trying to put words No, no, no. Tell us what happened. That's the question. Man, y'all give me some She came up. She came to talk to you. You pulled a gun. You had the opportunity. To, then tell us. We don't know. Shit, that's a damn lie. Then tell us what happened. I'm tell you shit because you now you're trying to put words in my goddamn I'm mouth. trying to ask you to put words to put your own words out there. I ain't trying to put words in my mouth. Just like you chose to shoot, just instead of run, just like you chose to shoot instead of fight. Words you obviously mouth. can't run. You can't shoot. You can't. You can't All fight. Right. Well, what you talking for then? Go on, go then on, tell us what happened, Marquis. No, you say the insult, brother. All right, Marquis, let me ask you this, man. If you st yeah, start yeah, me, look, look, okay, we're gonna get you medical attention. Coming, get medical attention, okay? All right? Um, start me from the morning. What happened from the morning? Oh, shit. As soon as you went in there, as soon as you went in there, hear me out. As soon as you went in there to buy, to buy your food, what happened? Tell me your story in your own words, from the beginning to the end. And then we don't have to put any words in your mouth. Marquis, you went to Walmart. All oh, y'all been doing this line. I ain't trying to talk. All oh, y'all been doing this line. Y'all, a lot of people trying to help me. How the fuck they help me? I'm in Walmart buying my own damn food. Tell your story then. You you went to buy your own food. Because y'all know they went because y'all made up shit on them. Then you tell the tell me the story. Man, you're trying to shit y'all making up shit, bro. It, I don't have to make up anything if you tell me the story. Marquise, we either hear it from you or we hear it from the people that saw what you did. Yeah, we hear it from you or we have to we have to just basically that. see what this what the video says. All that. that's saying one thing, here's your opportunity to I say what you, what happened, what your what where are you coming from? I need medical attention. I can't your medical attention is coming. I can't open my eye. Ain't no medical attention coming with y'all bullshit why they can't yet. Y'all been saying that come on man. You don't need to open your eyes, Marquise. You need to open your mouth. No, okay. You, you need to fuck out my motherfucking face, don't watch your business. I don't need to open my eye, open my mouth. What do you think you talking to, brother? 
Lloyd seems fairly determined to blame everyone but himself. In each altercation, it is always the other person's fault, even if he is the common denominator. It seems unlikely, especially considering that the officer he shot was on her back at the time. He can't give any clear reasons, although he really doesn't want to be talking at all. So it's no surprise that he's not giving away any details. Marquise, this is the opportunity that you that we're talking about. This is the interaction you obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. had with Sergeant Clayton. Sergeant Clayton oh, attempted yeah. to do the right thing with you, and he you chose to do what you did. Don't know about your business, brother. She tried to do the right thing. You did what you did. You said you want to say, don't know about your okay. business, brother. Until we hear different, we gotta we gotta go with what everyone's telling us. We gotta tell us we gotta see that basically you gunned her down for no reason. You gunned down a police officer because basically you're too scared to run. Don't know about your business, brother. Until we hear different from you, that's the only option we see out there. We see you gunning down a police officer while she's on her back. Yeah. Tell us something different. What did you shoot at the other police officer over there when you ran from your car? Marquis, man, I'm trying to give you the respect that you probably don't don't ever deserve. Why don't you just tell me, bro? Yeah, how I don't deserve him? I'm a man just like you. Well, then, then, oh, then treat me like him, man. I'm treating you like a man, but you're not treating me like a man. You're not even looking at me, man. You can't even talk to me, bro. Look, talk to me, man. You want to see what your fellow officer did? Come on, man, get the fuck out of here with that bullish mic. My mother can't look at you. Give me some medical attention. It's coming, bro. I already asked for it. It's coming. Shit ain't coming yet. It's coming. Marquis, why did you shoot at the other officer? What did he do to you to make you shoot at him? Did he come at you wrong, too? I mean, you got to tell me something, man. Man, y'all got me here. I'm, I'm, I'm in pain. I'm under duress. And y'all just in here just trying to drill me. I ain't got, I ain't got something to tell y'all. I'm under This duress. is what we're trying to figure out. Are these officers threatening you? Man, I'm are you, du get, are I'm you do duress. taking these actions because officers under, are threatening you? I'm under duress and I'm in pain. Y'all always gonna beat me up. I'm, I'm bleeding to death over here. I'm under duress and I'm in pain. Spit coming out my swallow. Spit coming out air. Blood coming out air. Well, I'm under duress and y'all here questioning me. And I'm under duress and I'm in pain. And I'm hurting. Those two things ain't gonna change, Marquis. Right. Your pain ain't gonna change for any time soon, whether medical attention sees you or not. The duress, whatever, okay? All we hear is that these people are threatening you and you stood up for yourself, okay? We just wanna know how a police officer on her back trying to do her job is threatening you. Why you had to take that action that you did versus all the other options that you had. You had other options. Why did you choose the option you, you chose? That's the simple question. Can you tell us if the deputy was threatening you at the Highland Oaks? Can you tell us why you had to shoot at him? Marquise. You've led nothing but a gutless life, man. You've, you've shot at all your women. Sada ain't the first woman you shot, okay? You've had a gutless life. This is your one opportunity to show some sort of, show that you're a man at you know what? Point, you know what's Marquis? funny? You know what's funny? I'm going to use your words, Marquis. I'm going I'm to I'm use your words, and you listen to me real carefully, man. You know what you said? You wanted to be America's most wanted. You were legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, telling, I'm talking to you man to man right now. You know what a legendary motherfucker does? He freaky steps on his two feet, and he freaking stands up and says, "This is what I did." You want, you want your, hey, you want people to respect you and fear you. Cause I was just, on, I was just on the on the motherfucker phone telling that the woman called me. Um, I was gonna get shot in the head and they, they turned me in so they could get the reward. Yeah, okay. Well, you know that's after the fact. Man, I'm talking about you talking about being America's most wanted. What do you mean by that? You don't know me. Oh, you talking about being legendary? What is that about? About me standing up for myself. That standing up for yourself? Anything. Y'all police kill, police kill, and all kids with their hands up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you talking about You killed a baby, man. Police kill, and all kids with their hands you up. You killed a baby. That, that wasn't me. You killed a baby. So don't even judge me on that. That wasn't me. The, the, uh, that wasn't you. No. Oh, that's legendary. Yeah. That's a real man. That wasn't even meant to happen. That was meant to happen, but it happened. No, nope, that wasn't meant to happen. But it happened. Yeah, but I ain't jumping on nobody. Huh? 
I ain't jump on nobody, nobody jumped on me. Somebody jumped on you, you're a grown ass man. We talking about a baby, three month old baby, in the belly. Come on, no baby, because there wasn't no baby that jumped on me. So what you talking about? I'm talking about the baby you killed, man. All right, brother. You, you see what I'm saying? Say it's okay for you to talk tough, mm -hmm. but when I talk tough to you, you want to back. Hey, you want to backpedal, man. Yeah, you ain't talking tough. You just trying to talk to get me to talk, but I ain't. To I, I ain't trying to get you to talk, man. You either tell the truth or you don't, man. Cause your words your bond. Lloyd still can't answer why he shot his girlfriend or the officers, but the detectives hit him with the fact that they know that he has a history of shooting at his girlfriend's. As for his child. Lloyd is oddly disconnected. For someone that was supposedly concerned that the baby would be harmed by cigarettes, he shows no concern or distress over the fact that not only is the child dead, but he is the direct cause. You, act, you either act like grown ass man right now, or you put your head between your knees, man. You got two options, bro. You got two options. Cause I'm not the same. I'm not the one sending you a coward for killing a, a, a woman with a baby in her belly. I'm not the one saying that. Your people are saying that. Your people are saying that. You ran for 30 days plus, but we we found you. So at the end, you weren't that smart after all. But you know why, my kid? You know why, my kid? You've done your time, man. You've done a long, long time. You know the system in and out. And you get to live for, for, for as long as you want to live. When God says, it, this is your last day, that's your last day. But Sean Clayton didn't have that opportunity. Because you made that choice for her. Shade and that baby, they didn't have that opportunity because you you made that choice for them. Luckily, her brother lived. Man, I, ain't, I ain't made shit. Bro, your actions, man. I'm talking about your actions. And then you wrong, because you don't want to face reality, bro. I ain't going to get no motherfucking gun. I ain't made shit. I ain't jump on nobody. I ain't made shit, so you can kill that. Tell me the reason why. You killed that baby. Tell me the reason why. You shot Ronald right straight in the chest. You tell me the reason why. You defending yourself? Then tell me the whole story and I'll listen. You shot Sergeant Clayton because she threatened you. She's giving you commands to stop and you kill her because she pulls a gun on you. That's her job. Th that's your option. That's your choice. So you a badass, man. When, do, when you do your thing, but you can't even face me and talk to me about it. Because there's no way in hell that you can believe your own words, man. What about that other cop? Because he got behind you? You got the, you got the option of shooting at him? Luckily, he didn't die. You know what we told you, mom? That we didn't want to hurt you, man. We didn't want to kill you. We wanted you to face justice. And you here you are alive. I've been trying to kill, but the fuck you talking about? You are here alive, man. Y'all don't frame murder on me already and everything. The fuck you mean y'all don't want to kill this motherfucker city they trying to kill me. So do we frame Sade's murder too? She y'all don't frame murder on me before. But did we frame Sade's murder on you? No, but y'all y'all motherfucker let the motherfucker Did we frame the baby murder on you too? Y'all was with that. Huh? Did we frame Sergeant Clayton's murder on you? Y'all was with that. Oh, uh, you can't say that though, right? Y'all let new people lie. So you're the victim here now. Like I just came with them and just went to You're the victim here now. That, that's a problem. Tell me that. That's the code, brother. Like you fucking around with victim to y'all lies. Tell me you're a victim and I'll give you a freaking hug. Cause that's what you sound like right now. No, no, See, a real no, man no. will tell the truth. Oh. A real man will tell the truth. And I thought, you know what I thought today? That I was gonna come sit down in here and talk to a real man. But even then, you can't even, you can't even say that. You wanna be legendary with lies. See, that's a punk move. Everybody tells me, man, that guy's for real, man. Right now, I don't see that. Marquis, just, I mean, 
you, you every time you have an opportunity to show that the, you're the man you talk about that you're this freaking badass you talk you talk about you talk all that shit about uh, uh, how you ain't going down without a fight and as soon as the officers confront you in the yard you bow down like a bitch in body armor so what are you now you talk and all this shit about how badass you are but when the officers confront you in the house on Lescott what'd you do all right man we're all right you bitched out so you you get bye. confronted by a by a, a female bye, at bye. the front door with your unborn child in her. What do you bye. do? You light her up. Sergeant Clayton's bye. trying to do her job and tell you what to do. No, what do you do? Bye. You hide behind a pillar and you light her up, cause you a bitch in body armor. Yeah, yeah. Come out and say what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You running around talking shit on social media, I'm, I'm, saying this and jibber jabber and that. Man, Here's your opportunity to talk about yourself. You just stop Say talking. what happened. I'm like bitches and all that shit that I ain't never disrespecting. I ain't gonna let you disrespect me. What you want us to do? Man, you ain't got to you talk. sitting there looking down, bleeding. You sitting down there, we're right. giving you ample opportunity to right. say what you need to say to speak what the truth. And what what do you do? What opportunity do you take? Yeah, Bro, what are you talking about? Opportunity will respect you. You ain't telling me nothing either. So I, it's yeah. not about getting respect or not getting respect, because you ain't saying shit. You've been treated right your whole life. You've had people treat you right your whole life, and what do you do? You put bullets in them. Because you're a punk. Because you put bullets in people to treat you right. What did Sade ever do to you? What did that unborn child do to you? Nothing. You're a little bitch that puts bullets in people when they do you right. Marquis. Fuck you. Marquis. The detectives go hard, trying to approach him with the same mentality of prison culture that Lloyd has most likely adopted during his time in jail, given the evidence of his social media posts. The comments about being a real man and being in control are all designed to make him own up to what he did, so he can't be called weak. However, Lloyd still isn't ready to crack. Well, Keith, tell me something, man. Hey, hey, no, hey, no more rap, All right, check this out. What do I tell Sade's mom? Hey, last thing I'm gonna ask you, man. Hey, hey I'm gonna ask you this. What do I tell Sade's mom? Do I tell her that you're sorry, that you said you don't care, that it's her fault that she's dead? What do you want me to tell her? No huh? You were going to call her parents to call so they can turn you in and get money or whatever. No, I will go call her father. Her father, all right. So you're going to call her father. but for, call her stepdad. Is, is that, is that going to be your, your I'm sorry? Here's, here's some money, that, that's all she was worth? $100,000? No, it wasn't about no money. So what was it about? You were tired of running? All, 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 I, all I need to know is, why do I tell these people? You know, another deputy going out there to help out after you kill Sergeant Clinton, die. What do I tell his parents? That it was in vain? That these, these people died for no reason? What do I tell them? Because to me, it's more important what the, what the family has to hear coming from you. Because I don't think you're ever going to say sorry to them face to face. So why don't you just let me do that? Why don't you just tell me, tell today's mom, tell her stepfather, her father, whoever, this is what it is, and I'll go tell them. And you tell me, and we'll go tell Sergeant Clinton's family, this is what it is. I mean, if you're sorry about it. That's a simple question, Mark. Either are you sorry about it? Are you sorry it went down like it did? Is that what you wanted all along? Is that what you did? You walk into the Walmart that day to say I'm going to kill the first police officer that says shit to me. Is that what you walked in there thinking? You obviously didn't want to die. That's why you're wearing body armor, right? So it was all about you. That's a little selfish to me. You should have stood there and say, Hey man, come get me. This is where I'm at. If that's what you wanted, if you wanted to fight, see, you're not the type of man to hide. I know that. But you know what? The 30 days, the last 30 days, you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. Because your whole life, you do what you want to do. Yeah, you spent some time in prison. That was a small price to pay for all the shit you've done in your life. And you know it. And you stupid motherfucker, I ain't did shit in my life, so you can shut your damn mouth. I ain't never did shit. I ain't never had a felony tie with the crib. So the fuck you talking about? Now you just rapping. I'm never, just rapping? Yeah, because I ain't never get a choice. You just rapping. I'm just rapping? Yeah, you just rapping. So one day you decided to go on freaking Shusha Day. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, uh, she came at you with a gun. But you don't want to tell me the whole story. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, Sergeant Clayton, the same thing. She came at you with a fucking gun, right? Oh, you're a fucking victim every goddamn time. 
But every time you decide to pull up a gun, no, 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 no. I'm giving you respect, man. I'm giving you respect. It's not about rap. It's not about rap. See, you don't want to hear it. That's why you're telling me to be quiet. Because for the first time in your life, a man just like you stands right in front of your face and tells you the truth. Because in the street, you say what you want, and motherfuckers don't do shit because they scare you. I'm not scared of you. I'm telling you the truth, and you can't handle that. You cannot handle it. Because a grown ass man like you, Miggy, is telling you the truth to your face, and you can't even talk. You want a little freaking bandaid on your face. That's a bitch ass move, and you know it. You worry about the little blood coming from your face. You forget, you forget that I was there and I looked at Sade. You forget that I was there, that I went over there when they split her wide open and I saw what you did to that baby in the belly. See, I was there. But to you, you're a victim. You're a victim. You want some victim compensation? You want us to wear a pink ribbon for you? Marquis, do you want us to say anything to the, to the, the families of these people? We're going to go talk to Sergeant Clayton's people. We're going to talk to Sade's people. Okay? We're going to talk to the, the, the deputy who, who was killed chasing you's people. You want to say anything to them? The detectives are being surprisingly relentless, and they do make a fair point. Victims usually don't walk around in body armor. The fact that he has no sympathy for Officer Clayton can be overlooked somewhat by the fact that he doesn't really know her personally and he hates cops in general. But the lack of remorse for the deaths of his girlfriend and child shows a dangerous hardness. You give a shit at all to that, that woman who's probably one of the truly nicest, biggest heart police officers I've ever met in my life. A woman who truly gave a shit about this community, who truly got into this line of work to make a, make the community a better place, and you shot her down like a fucking dog because you're a little goddamn pussy. Okay, uh, you want anything to say to, to say to that family? Your mom. Huh? Your mom a pussy. Whatever, dude. Uh, you're you're a little bitch and you know it. You want to say anything to that family? Do you want to say anything to that family? The dad that be thankful to get some respect and you disrespect more. What respect do you deserve? The fuck out you deserve the respect of any rabid dog on the street. Alright, well go okay. on then. The fuck you stood in front of me for then? That's about the, about the smartest business. thing you said all night. Go on about okay? your business. Smartest thing you said all night. Go on about your business. What you still here for? Yep. You got that right. What you, you, you got it right. Ain't, ain't no market with nothing. Y'all gotta give respect to give respect. I ain't, uh, did I give it to you? I, I gave it to you, right? I, I gave it to you. I, 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 you. I, I talked to you, you like a man. I, I talked to you like a man. I I talk you. Let me ask you something. Did I disrespect you? Did I disrespect yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, both of you. How did I disrespect you? Yeah, you called the same shit too. Because I told you the truth to your face. I didn't call you no names. You don't want to hear the truth. I didn't call you no names. You know what I did? I told you the truth. I told you the truth. But man to man, if you're not going to freaking tell me the truth, if you're not going to talk to me like a man, then tell me that. Tell me, man, I can't do it. I cannot talk to you like a man. You say it. I ain't got a goddamn hole in my mouth. Y'all talking about other shit. Shade had a bunch of them in her body, too. And so did that baby. And so did Sergeant Clayton. You want to compare holes? We can compare holes. Yours are going to heal, okay? Yours are, your, your, your wounds are going to heal. You're going to be fine, okay? I read something you put on freaking Facebook. You talk about love and God and God first and family this and family that. That's a load of shit there. You know, I, I look at it, you know, man, this guy can be the nicest guy one day and, 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 and the opposite the next. See, I think about, damn, you know, sometimes I get pissed off, man. Sometimes I want to say some things to my woman. Sometimes I want to say some things to my kids. Sometimes I want to say things to, to the people I work with. You know what? And I hold back. You know why? Because most of the times I'm wrong. I'm jumping to conclusions. But you, not you, you don't say something. You pull a gun, you freaking shoot it. Girl in the past, pissed to you. You pissed to her. Pull a gun and shoot at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that happened, so you just shut the fuck up. No, no. Yeah, would you fuck None of that happened? How about Sade? Did that did not happen? Did I make that shit up? Am I am I imagining things? Is it a fairy fucking tale that she's dead? 
Because last time I freaking checked, when I stood right there and they were doing an autopsy, I, 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 I know what I saw. I've been doing this for a long time. You're good at what you do, and I'm pretty sure that I'm good at what I do. And I know what I saw. You're what you're doing, you say you're defending yourself. You say that these people are coming at you, they're attacking you. Even when you defended yourself, even when the, the attack stopped, Sergeant Clayton, she was down. She was down. You already shot her. She wasn't getting up off her back. But you had to do what you had to do and stand over her and finish her off. Okay? Don't try and say that, that was you were defending yourself. You willfully went in there and did what you did. You willfully went in there and killed her. You had all kinds of options. Starting with the second she walked out the door trying to do her job, you had all kinds of options uh, that did not involve doing what you did. And, and, and the best option was for her to fall back and watch the curb, all that. At some point, the police got to come at, come at you. Yeah, so she yeah. falls back and she watches you, and other police officers come. You wear body armor and you got a and you got a forty cal on you. And they already coming. And, and, and then what are you going to do? You going to shoot more officers? No, they could have wrote my. How many officers would it have? How many officers would have been the, the appropriate they number they before you would have given up? They could have wrote me off anyway. And then what? How many <laughs> officers would it have taken to stop you? Since one is not enough. They chased you. You had that opportunity. You shot at the deputy. Okay? You took that opportunity. Every encounter that, every time someone fronts you, you go to gun. And then y'all already made up stories and shit. Well, you had, what you story had, is made up? Yeah, I just went there and just shot the side of you. You've had 30 something days to come and tell your side of the story, but you chose not to. So don't talk to me oh, about oh, stories. Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 you said the fuck my niece told y'all. Y'all trying y'all not responsible for what the news people play, man. Y'all get the fuck out of here. No, you, your your niece told me two stories. That's why she ended up over there and had the handcuffed and in, in, in jail. She told two different stories. So don't be confused. I clarify all your freaking doubts. I sat down and I talked to her. Lloyd keeps insisting that the police have been lying about him, but he is still unable to give a clear example. It's like he has decided that he is the victim and anything that contradicts that is deemed a lie. Without an evaluation, it's hard to tell if this is symptomatic of some mental disorder or if he is just that much of a selfish individual. Well, you've had 30-something days you to come and tell your story. You've had 30-something days to... You could have prevented... You could have prevented, you could have prevented right. your niece from going to jail by coming in here the very next day and saying, hey, this is what happened. She be you didn't right. do that. Because she ain't did shit. How the fuck a motherfucker doing Day something? two. And yes, I'm, she did. And I'm in Walmart trying yeah. to motherfucker. Yes, she did. She went and got money for you. And she went and got that money from my motherfucking door. That's my motherfucking check that I worked for all week. And I told and him brought to, it to you. And I told him to give it to my motherfucking child. That went to my motherfucking door. What the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. Well, that's what she said. She, she got the money for you. She ain't told you shit. I know damn what she ain't told you because she ain't brought me shit. That was my motherfucking child and my motherfucking grandbaby. So y'all can kiss my ass with that bullshit. Ain't nobody gave me shit. I gave away every motherfucking thing. Ain't nobody gave me shit. Ain't nobody gave you free food? Ain't nobody gave me shit. Ain't nobody gave you free food? Ain't nobody gave me shit. I bought my own, got my own shit. Well, you don't think that we, we're capable of, uh, you know, looking at your, your phone records, talking to people. You don't think that we went and talked to these people and they said, yeah, we talked to them. He asked for money. He asked for food. He, this yeah, is what... I, I ain't asked nobody for no motherfucker. That's a motherfucking lie. I don't think so they're lying on you. The mother told people what the fuck was really going on. All the other shit. So, so they're lying you on tell, you. tell us about it. All right. It's just, it's just tell it. I mean, the people you're calling. We see, obviously, we're following your phones. This is why you're here. You're calling these people. You're, we're following those phones. What's the conversation about? You leave Walmart. You just kill Sergeant Clayton. You leave Walmart, the first person you call. You're obviously looking for help. That person give you help? Who you, why are you calling him? I don't need no help. Tell people I then what, what are you calling him? What are you, what are you telling him? When you call him, tell us about the phone conversation you had with him. I don't need no help. You damn sure needed help, and you damn sure reached uh, out, and you damn sure called uh, some people. How I need, how I need the help? How I need the because help? Because you just killed a police officer, and you're trying to get out of get out of the area. I ain't need no help. You did that all by yourself? I ain't need no help. Did you do it by yourself? You seen it? Then ain't nobody with me. I know okay. Ain't nobody around me. All right. Now, how did you get from point A to point B? Somebody had to give you a car. Did you steal a car to get from point A to point B? You bail from the VW. Where do you go from there? 
up in the reserves. Where do you go from there? Medical attention, brother. Where do you go from the in the reserves? Where do you go once you leave, once you bail up from the, the VW? I need medical attention. I need medical attention. Where do you go when you leave the the VW, Marquis? Can't open my fucking eyes. You don't know what my shit. Did you stay in? Do you stay in the apartments? My shit could be fucking up right now. Y'all just got me sick. Did you stay in the in the apartments or did you go somewhere else? Pull my damn pants. Sit down, Marquis. Cool. Sit down. Them pants ain't going over. Sit down. Sit down. Where'd you go in the reserves? Oh man, we ain't talking to most people. You jacked that? Why didn't you shoot that man? Was your gun out of ammunition? What happened? You killed that. Where you, where you take that when you take that VW in the in the Highland Oaks? Why didn't you shoot him? Why didn't you shoot the guy in Highland Oaks? Marquis. You done talking? You done talking? You want your band-aid now? All right, Marquis. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, man. I thought you were a badass. Yeah, I was gonna give you a little bit of respect, even though I don't usually give bad people respect. I was gonna yeah. give you a little respect because you beat me for 30 something days. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find you. I'm not a bad guy. Okay, you, I couldn't find you. But you know what I take from, from our talk today? I feel sorry for you, man. I kind of feel sorry for you. Not, not in the sense that I'm gonna fucking cry, that I'm gonna fucking you know, go to church and pray for you. Cause I ain't gonna pray for you, man. I, I, I'm not. You know, I haven't been to, to church in a long time, but from time to time I pray for people. I'm not gonna pray for you, man. You know what I'm gonna do, man? I'm gonna feel sorry for your fucking motherfucking ass. Cause you killed Shade, that baby. You killed Sergeant Clan, and you ain't man enough to fucking take responsibility for it. So if the only thing that I can tell you today, right now, before I walk out, is that I thought I was gonna fucking give you a little bit of respect, Man, you, you, you lost the very little I have for you, man. And I know you don't give a fuck. Although Lloyd claims that his niece didn't give him money and says she only picked up his work check to give to his daughter, he's missed an important detail. To cash the check, he would have to sign it, unless he's going to claim that his daughter or niece forged his signature. Also, to have been on the run for a month while staying in the same area is very difficult without help so it's very unlikely that he hasn't seen any of his family or friends in that time. Because you much rather people fear you than fucking respect you. Guess what? You're a rap. You're a fucking rap. You're nothing. In the street, you're nothing anymore. You're nothing but a fucking sorry-ass story. Twenty thirty-six. This is gonna be a uh, interview with Marquis Floyd in reference to Sade Dixon's and her unborn child's death. This interview was conducted at the Orlando Police Marquee. Department headquarters. The time right now is gonna be Open your eyes, Marquis. 39. Open your eyes. Mm -hmm. That was a true angel right there you put down. It was a true angel you put down because you're a pointless little fucking dog. Okay, and my only regret is that you're breathing right now. You get what you got coming. That's I thought you were really gonna put up a fight. I don't fear that fucking bitch. You don't fear nothing. You know what? Beat this case. Put me in the street. Beat the case. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do. Beat the case. Beat the case. Because there will be another fucking day. And you know what? Next time it's gonna happen, it's not gonna be Sergeant Clayton. It's gonna be somebody like me. Man, you just rap. Yeah, I'm just rap. You a fucking rap. Be you had, you had the opportunity. You, you don't have. You do had opportunities to do all the shit you talked about. You had all kinds of opportunities to talk about. And what'd you do? You crawled out on your hands and knees. You know what you are. You'll get your bologna sandwich later. And now.
the detectives have left Lloyd alone in the room for the time being. If they think that he is going to become introspective and remorseful about his actions, or that the silence will break him, they're going to be disappointed. That tactic is only really ever effective on first offenders on lower level crimes. For someone who has already been to prison and is comfortable on the inside, this move is barely a blip on their radar. Keith, they're going to come here and take some photos of you in a few seconds, all right? Okay. Same thing on the other side. 
Can use the hole in the side there. It, uh, up in your lip? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Lloyd is having his injuries documented. It's important to have this done before he receives medical attention so the full extent can be seen before it is obscured by bandages. All right, um, what we're going need, to need to do is take the, the shirt off, so we're going to have to cut off the, the, the shirt, okay? Mm -hmm. Medical shears? Um, mm -hmm. The OFD has medical shears. They can cut it off easy. Are they here? Um, they still, they're not in here anymore, are they? Uh, they, 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 they just just show the shirt or something? Mike, let me see if I can find some... Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be a guess. Yeah. No, SRT shirt. Okay. What I'm going to... We're going to get some medical shears to, to cut off the shirt. You, you can have a seat if you want. Mike, we're going to call. I just have a seat there. That one pulled over his head, or because of the injury? Uh, no, because it, it's it's underneath of his armpits. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we're going to call if he's transported. SRT's on standby. Okay. From the jail to the yeah, so if he's transported. Yeah, we're going to okay. call FD. You can make that happen for us. Um, do it. Do it from. Uh, Lana. No, just step outside here. Okay, Miss. Mr. Lloyd, I'll be cutting these, these off. These are regular scissors, so don't move, okay? Mm -hmm. What's that? Side. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, spin around. Okay. 
documentation isn't a quick process. Several shots of each wound must be taken. Up close for detail, distance to show the exact location on the body and relation to other wounds, and finally shot with a tape measure or other item to get a precise reference for the size.
go to southwest.com. I usually book a package with them. Once again, Lloyd is left alone, and he silently rocks back and forth to distract himself from the pain. Check your vital signs and whatnot, okay? Do you have any medical history? Any medical problems? Seizures, diabetes, asthma, anything like that? Yeah. Just watch the. Uh, Do you take medicine every day? Are you allergic to any medicine?
No, I think uh, the, uh, the jail, County, right? the jail uh, corrections team is going to come here, transport him to the hospital, uh, get medical clearance, and then they'll they'll take him from there. Uh, Rather than us take him to the hospital and then have to do a, a transfer there, we're just going to take him. We're just going to take him directly from here. Do we have someone with this information? Uh, yeah. Do you have any name? Name? Social? Social? Uh, this is name and name. Marquis Lloyd, M A R K T I T H. And then L O Y D. He will be getting transported to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I can't technically clear him, but as long as he's going. Yeah, that's the game plan. That, yes. Okay. Yeah. I can't Just say. Just figured we'd have you guys take a look at this. We're going to yeah. start vital signs and then probably bandage that up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Bit. Yeah. 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 You guys can do that. Be great. You guys will yeah. maintain yeah. custody and take him to the hospital. Do you have any more? 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 Do you have any those are perfect. Okay, all right, let me get a more of a truth. Can you touch the chapter out there? He's coming in to clean your face off. Yeah, document very clearly exactly where his lacerations are. Left eye, nose, cheek abrasion, cheek mm -hmm. contusion, you see it on the back of his head. Everything is pretty much concentrated in the face. Which one? Right one? Yeah. What hurts? Does it feel like you got a cut or does it feel like a like a muscular or bone injury? Yeah. Oh! It's just water, buddy. No, I see. It's water. Just where he touched hurts? to his spine. Mm -hmm. Anything on your legs? Yeah, I want to get his eye now. Yeah. I don't know if you don't feel anything. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. 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 Sorry? I got him. So my thing because my partner is... No. You got it? October. But it's not 2016. My partner is an idiot. Hold on. This is how you spell his yeah. middle name, Mark Heath. Where's the date of birth? October 8th of 72. Uh, 75? 75. 75. 75. 75 is that what it is? I'm stopping just doing BLS. Since he's going to be getting transported by yeah. Blanca. Yeah. You're 42? Yeah. 41. 72. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's 41, yeah. so I just turned 22. Just, uh, to be sure we get the clear medication that we're... You know, more in the front side of the alcohol, you know. Jack, did you hear that? After an hour and a half since he was brought in, emergency workers are finally there to assess Lloyd's injuries. His vital signs are fine, and he will be taken to the hospital by the police later so the most they are able to do is wipe off the blood and bandage him up. Clearmentation, yeah. status, everything. Exactly, right. just make sure that we know where. You know where you're at right now? Yeah. 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 Okay. You know what state you're in? Okay. okay. You know what month it is? Yeah, 2016. Okay. Who's the president right now? Okay. <laughs> Look up for him. 
Lloyd is left to wait while officers go through the process of filling out the necessary paperwork to transfer him to the hospital, and then to the prison where he will be staying. It doesn't seem like they are going to try to continue to question him at this point. Thank you. 
one of your stuff. Oh my god. That's a little boy. Is that your military? Shouldn't you like You have my green thing, right? Somewhere in your office. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, went and actually came to the motorcycle. Today. Went, got the title. Got the title, got the motorcycle, everything. Yeah. I think it looks nice. I didn't see it. Yeah. Want a helmet? Is it helmet here? The helmet's in the mail. Got a Mohawk. Mohawk? They have added cuffs to his legs, which is usually only done in the case of violent crimes or for those who are considered a high flight risk. This is supposed to reduce the risk of Lloyd running or trying to overpower any of the officers in an attempt to escape. Thank you. 
There's some blood on all this. There's okay. Uh, Who's that lock at? It takes a while to get everything properly arranged on Lloyd, since every item has to fit together in a certain way and put on in a certain order. Okay, Ms. Ms. Lloyd. Okay, I got you, bro. Okay, I'm going to take, take, take off the right one first. Seat straight, straight back. All right. Okay. Uh, 
That's all orange. There you go. I, I just rinsed off some black off stuff, so it's a little wet. All right, all right. Kyle, you got one? Or, or you got it? I got it. All right, one or one, please. Come on, Sam. Oh. Here we go. Lloyd is escorted out of the room by two officers on his way to the hospital for further medical treatment. In October 2019, Lloyd was convicted of the murder of Sade Dixon and later sentenced to life in prison. In December of 2021, Lloyd was convicted of first-degree murder of Deborah Clayton, and the jury has recommended the death penalty. In March of 2022, Judge Letitia Marquez will decide whether or not to sentence Lloyd to the death penalty or another life term. The family of Sade Dixon feels like justice is being served, although they will never get over her death or that of the child they will never be able to know. As for Deborah Clayton, her family is hopeful that Lloyd will receive the death penalty for his crimes. The community is also suffering the loss of Clayton. She worked tirelessly to bridge the gap between the police and the community, pouring herself into outreach to prevent young people from walking down the same path chosen by Lloyd. In fact, it was mentioned at the trial that if there had been someone like Clayton in Lloyd's community growing up, there is a good chance this never would have happened. Knowing this, it's evident that Lloyd didn't just kill two women and a baby. He has killed hope for local young people. He has limited their support and options and almost certainly guaranteed that at least some will continue the same cycle of misery and death. We can only hope that the judge takes this into account when she makes her final decision.